G'day and welcome to the Australian Open. I'm Paul Kildare and welcome to Killers AO Preview. It's a hot day here in Melbourne and we've got some hot action coming up. I'm lucky enough to be joined by my good mate, Joshua Eagle, former tour player. You must know what's going on around this place. Well, I don't know about that, but all I do know is this is a wonderful time of the year here in Melbourne, a great event. It's, it's a real uh, one of the, the features of, of the sporting calendar. I'm really excited about Roger Federer, whether he can break the record, get to 14 Grand Slams in a row, and I'm also looking forward to watching Anna Ivanovic. Boy, she is hot. You are a big fan of hers, aren't you? Yeah, I don't mind her. Great to see her make the final last year. It was really exciting, and not, not just for myself personally, but the crowds here in Melbourne love her, and especially the boys. Joe Wilfred Songer, he caused a stir here last year too. Yeah, and look out for him, no, no question. He's in pretty good form. He had a little bit of an injury last week. I think that was just precautionary, but boy, he's a great player. The crowds love watching him, and, and I love watching him play too, and he's a real danger man. Casey Delacqua, she's up tomorrow night. That's going to be an interesting match. Oh, she's got a tough one, no question. She's playing Hunter Kova, but look, Casey's a big match player. She proved that last year. She sort of set the crowd on fire here last year. Let's hope she can do that as well this year. And Josh, one of the things I'm really looking forward to tomorrow is to see the former Kamiko Date Crump. Been 12 years out of the game. Yeah, pretty big story. She started to play a little bit towards the end of 2008. Did well on the challenger circuit. Got a good draw, I believe. She's taking on Kai Kanepi, who is actually seated. But I reckon Date might just cause an upset. And Paul, there's hope for us. She's that bald head of yours. She's older than us. Way older. <laughs> and what about uh, Dokic as well? Dokic coming back. She'll be interesting to watch. She's been working hard. She looks in much better shape this time than, than she did last year. And it'll be interesting to see the way the Australian fans take to her. Yeah, well, look, it's, it's a big story whenever Dokic does play here in Australia. There's no question. She takes on Tamira Pasek, a, a youngster, just 18. Struggled a little bit with injuries herself, but... I think it's a great opportunity for Dockage and let's just hope that she can get down and have a win for Australia's sake. And mate, tomorrow on Centre Court, a couple of the Serbians, Novak Djokovic, defending champion, and Yelena Jankovic, world number one, never won a Grand Slam. What do you think about that? You didn't win a Grand Slam either, champ. I could have. <laughs> you should have. But uh, look, Yelena Jankovic, I think she's pretending being number one in the world. She has not. Very controversial. No, it is controversial, but look, she hasn't won a slam, and until she does that, then I think she deserves the ranking. But she'll get through tomorrow. There's no question. She's too good. She'll go pretty deep in this tournament, but, but I do not think she'll win. Let's touch on Novak Djokovic. Gee, he's a great player. He's got all the talent in the world, and I think he'll go deep in this tournament. Maybe semis, but I don't think he's going to win it. Well, you were pretty talented in your day too, Joshua. I like to think I am. Come back tomorrow for Killers Preview. Can't wait, can't wait.